we've started our steam engine now. <clears throat> first one we ever built. This will be the first one. It's a simple one, but we'll learn a lot building it. And we'll have something that works when we're finished. But the uh, base plate was a little bit too big to fit in my blouse, <laughs> in my uh, vise on the mini mill. So I've got it clamped down with some of the clamps in my clamping kit. We have a one, two, three block on the bottom to bring it up from the bed and the table. And then we've got it positioned on the blocks so we get a good even force, downward force there to clamp it to the bed so it doesn't move around. Then we squared it with the table by using the uh, Noga. The Noga with with the uh, dial indicator on it. So we've got it right on the button. It's If it's off, it's maybe only by a few ten thousandths of an inch. And if we take the uh, a little machinist square here and check the side, we've already done this side, right on the button. We used the mill to square up this side. We took this, we took this edge off, brought her down about 50 thousandths. They were still about 50 thousandths over, but we'll use that up when we square the other side. So we'll have to loosen our clamps, take the plate off, turn it around, and the base plate turn it around and do the other side. And we'll do it, square it up to this side here. So it might be a little bit off on, but these two sides, I don't know, what, that's pretty close. It's a pretty good piece of metal. And uh, looks like it was extruded real nice, so it's it's okay. They had to saw it off, though, to make the base plate here, and they, they didn't saw it exactly square, so we're fixing that now. They left us a little, left us about a hundred thousandths uh, on their oversize so we could do this. So that was a good deal. You can see how nice and smooth the, the edge gets after we clean her up with the end mill. Okay, now we're going to take it down and turn it around, re-square it, re-tram it, then we'll do the other end. Okay, the trick is to set our test indicator up on zero there and, and adjust our workpiece. And uh, we've got it pretty well zeroed in now so that as we, as we move the bed from the table from right to left, it should stay pretty close to that zero mark, not right on. So we'll take the, take the table back to the right and we'll just keep an eye on it. Already got to sit pretty good. Sorry for the shaking, but it's kind of, kind of hard to crank and hold this thing still at the same time. There we go. I think we're close enough here with this thing. Then we'll tighten our clamps. Check it. Check it again. Okay. That looks good. Yep, right on the button there. Okay. We'll bring her back over here. Then we'll, we'll tighten those nuts on there. We'll check it again. That's, that's how you set it up. So then we should be, once we trim this, we ought to be at exact 90 degree angle across that edge and we're going to mill off 50 thousandths to bring it exactly four inches square. Fun, fun, fun. To that it takes your milling machine away. Okay, we're going to shave about 10 thousandths off of it on this path. Pass. Let me see 
and just chopped off about of an inch there. All right. We'll do a few more of those till we get down to exactly four inches. And we'll call it a day and check our edge. You see already it's nice and shiny there. After that first pass, it's looking good. Looking good. All right. That's how we do it. I saw that on YouTube and I read it in a book and saw it on an instructional video, so I'm all set. It's just a matter of doing it now. The only thing left is skill. There's a big shortage of that around here, I'll tell you. But you know, practice makes perfect, they say, or else it discourages you and you go on to buying guns and steam engines that somebody else built. That's probably a ticket. Oh well. Give it a try anyway. As nice as the gauges are on the DRO, we still don't trust them 100%. So we stop every once in a while, every pass or two, and we check the size of our piece with our calipers. We're at 4 inches and .007 over. Then we take our square and we'll then we double check the squareness of it. Yep, she's still looking good. Right in there. Okay, we'll take these last few thousands, a couple thousands at a time. We don't want to go over. We can always shave more off, but we don't want to, if we go over, we're in deep doo doo. Although with this project, it wouldn't make a lot of difference. A few thousands here or there. What the hell? Well, I'm a little. A few thousands here and there, pretty soon you're talking about some real, real inches, something like that. All right, back to it. Here's the base piece. Cut to the right size here with the, with the mill and the upright. Also at four inches. That'll screw in there like this. After we drill and tap it, cylinder will mount right in here steam engine so it's coming along and we'll clean those uh, surfaces up a little sandpaper after we get all done to make them nice and shiny probably about a 400 grit or so but it's coming maybe you can see the edge there a little bit I don't know. It's, uh, it's in pretty good shape few milling marks on it, but we'll get that out of there with the sandpaper. Or we'll just forget about it because on the one side, because it's going to mount just like that. Nobody's going to see under there, right? So what the hell? I don't want to do any more sand in the crap I can. We have to. All right, baby. On to the next step. We're cutting the steam engine flywheel out of a blank piece of aluminum here working on cutting in from the hub. The hub sticks out three-eighths of an inch about. So we're cutting away the face. You can see the hub is still there. We're taking about four or five thousandths of a crack. It's going to take us a while, but with this little bitty mini lathe, they can go much faster than added stalls. So that's what we're finding out. And let's see, we uh, try and get a little shot here of Just a while here to take two thousandths of an inch on this track. So that's a guy where we need it. Move it in another three thousandths of an inch. One, two, three, right there. Okay, and the little cranking. Half 
You'll get there. That'd be close to like they say. You don't have to be, but it's not going to be in a good enough to be. Let's see this. Turn the baby off and we'll clean out the swarf here. We'll get our vacuum cleaner going. We'll clean this junk out of here that came off. That's not usable aluminum anymore. We're going to just pitch it. Okay. Hate to have to do that, but we're making progress. Double checking our plans here. There's a picture of the flywheel and the profile picture over here. You can see the hub sticks out. Sticks out 0.375 from the edge. So we're cutting this part out right now. Then we'll have another little cut to cut in there to put a rim on it. But, um, these are our Collets up here, you can see that 0.375 is the same as 3 eighths of an inch. And that's where we're at, we're working on the flywheel. Okay, back to work. The flywheel is taking shape. We're out and down around the, uh, the uh, hub there. Looking uh, pretty good. So far, so good. Keep dishing out that around the center there a little bit. Got to go 0.125 there. So we'll keep plugging away. Moving right along. We got one half the flywheel finished. The base and the upright are ready to go. The flywheel will eventually mount on a shaft right here. Now, we still have some dye on there that we use to do our machining this center part and we'll get back at that here a little later. But he's coming right along and then the base and the upright are finished. The holes are drilled to within a, well, probably about a half a thousandth an inch or better. That's where the piston will come up and down from the drive wheel, which will be on the other side. Inside the cylinder, which will move back and forth and pivot on the pivot pin right here. So we're coming right along. We got the holes all drilled and tapped. We have the base holes drilled and tapped, 1032. With these cap nuts countersunk into the base so it'll sit level. And we're coming right along. Okay. Have to clean up the mill now. And the lathe. We'll get ready for the next steps. That's it for today.